Floyd Mayweather's dominant performance against John Gotti III ended with a clear exhibition victory, but it wasn't the biggest event of the night. The true drama came backstage when tensions between Mayweather and his former protege, Gervonta Tank Davis, finally boiled over into a physical confrontation. For months, the relationship between Mayweather and Davis had been deteriorating. Once close as mentor and protege, their bond began to unravel as Davis grew into a star of his own. The two had been exchanging heated words on social media, with Mayweather publicly criticizing Davis for his lack of discipline and Davis firing back, accusing Mayweather of being overly controlling and unable to let go of the spotlight. The tensions reached their breaking point after Mayweather's taunts about Davis's fight choices and his ability to handle fame. Davis, feeling disrespected, was determined to confront his former mentor face to face. After the fight with Gotti, Mayweather made his way backstage, where Davis was waiting for him. The confrontation quickly escalated when Mayweather reportedly made a snide comment as he passed by Davis. In a flash, Davis lunged at Mayweather, fists flying. The two had to be separated by security, but not before Davis landed a few hard punches. Witnesses described the altercation as intense with neither fighter backing down. The incident shocked those who were present, but it was clear that this confrontation was inevitable. The feud between Mayweather and Davis had been simmering for months, with both men exchanging barbs in the press and on social media. Mayweather, ever the strategist, had begun to focus his attention on a new protege, the young and hungry Carol Motone, a rising star who Mayweather believes has the potential to surpass Davis. Mayweather's alliance with Motone is more than just a business move, it's a calculated power play aimed directly at Davis. Motone, who has shown immense promise in the ring, is being groomed to be the next Floyd Mayweather, a role that Davis was once expected to fill. For Mayweather, Motone represents the future, a fighter who is disciplined, dedicated, and willing to follow in his mentor's footsteps without question. Davis, on the other hand, has never hidden his frustration with Mayweather. The mentorship that once seemed promising turned into a bitter rivalry as Davis sought to assert his independence. He wanted to step out of Mayweather's shadow, but Floyd, ever the perfectionist, wasn't ready to let go. The relationship became less about growth and more about control, with Davis rebelling against Mayweather's tight grip on his career. As the tension between them grew, Davis became increasingly vocal about his dissatisfaction with Mayweather. He criticized Mayweather's exhibition matches, calling them meaningless, and accusing Floyd of avoiding real contenders. Mayweather, in turn, questioned Davis's loyalty and discipline, painting a picture of a young fighter who couldn't handle the pressures of fame without his mentor's guidance. The backstage altercation between Mayweather and Davis was the culmination of months of growing animosity. For Davis, it wasn't just about boxing anymore, it was personal. He felt betrayed by the man who had once been his mentor and was determined to stand up for himself. For Mayweather, the fight was a reminder that he was still in control, that he could still command respect both in and out of the ring. But Mayweather wasn't just fighting to protect his legacy, he was also grooming Motone to take Davis's place. In Motone, Mayweather sees the potential for a fighter who can do what Davis never could remain loyal and disciplined. Motone's rise has been nothing short of meteoric, and Mayweather has made it clear that he believes Modone has what it takes to be the next big thing in boxing. Modone's dedication to the sport has earned Mayweather's respect. Unlike Davis, who Floyd believes let fame get to his head, Modone has remained focused, grounded, and completely in tune with what it takes to be the best. Mayweather has publicly praised Modone's work ethic and attitude, comparing him favorably to Davis, whom he views as undisciplined and ungrateful. The history between Mayweather and Davis goes deeper than just business. There was a time when Davis looked up to Mayweather, seeing him as not only a promoter but also a mentor and even a father figure. 
Mayweather took Davis under his wing, showcasing him to the world and promoting him as the next big thing in boxing. But as Davis grew into his own, the relationship soured, and what was once a promising mentorship turned into a bitter rivalry. Mayweather's decision to place his full focus on Modon is a clear statement to Davis, you are replaceable. Modon is young, hungry, and in Mayweather's eyes, more disciplined than Davis ever was. For Davis, this is a bitter pill to swallow. He knows that Modon is being groomed to not only be a star, but to outshine him, to make the world forget that he was ever Mayweather's protege. The whispers in boxing circles are growing louder. Mayweather is setting the stage for Motone to be his next big star, and Davis's time in the spotlight is running out. The tension between Mayweather and Davis has always been about control. Mayweather's ability to command attention both as a promoter and as a fighter made him a formidable presence in Davis's career. But as Davis's star rose, so did his desire for autonomy. Mayweather, never one to relinquish control easily, viewed this as a betrayal. Their public feuds, particularly on social media, were not just about boxing, they were about respect, power, and loyalty. And in Mayweather's world, loyalty is everything. The inevitable showdown between Davis and Mayweather isn't just about boxing, it's about settling scores. For Davis, it's about proving that he can stand on his own two feet that he no longer needs Mayweather's guidance. But for Mayweather, it's about showing the world that he still has what it takes to mold the next generation of champions, and that Davis was merely a stepping stone to something greater. With Modon in his corner, Mayweather is ready to make that statement loud and clear. For Davis, the clock is ticking. He knows that Mayweather is positioning Motone to take his place, and the only way to stop that is to face Mayweather head-on. The animosity between the two has reached a point of no return, and a fight between Mayweather and Davis feels like the only way to settle their differences once and for all. Modon's rise is inevitable, but for Davis, it's not too late to remind the world who he is and what he's capable of. But with Mayweather in Modon's corner, this battle is as much about the future as it is about the past. Mayweather has his eyes set on Modon, and Davis knows it. The fight between Mayweather and Davis is bound to happen, it's only a matter of when. With Motone looming in the background, the stakes have never been higher. Mayweather isn't just fighting to protect his legacy, he's fighting to cement a new one with Motone. And for Davis, this is the ultimate test, a chance to prove that he's more than just a former protege, more than just another fighter in Mayweather's shadow. This fight is personal, and when it happens, the world will be watching. Gervonta Davis has risen to stardom under the guidance of Floyd Mayweather, adopting not only his mentor's fighting style, but also his larger-than-life persona. With a powerful record and an ever-growing reputation for knockouts, Davis is often viewed